Okay, what we're going to do now is I am going to uh, show you how to take uh, the stereo footage that you've shot and make a quick uh, anaglyph out of it. Anaglyphs are the easiest and cheapest way to view your stereo 3D. You, all you need is the red and, and cyan glasses. Uh, speaking of those glasses, you want to buy you a good pair of them uh, if you're going to be doing much of this at all. So one of the first things you want to do is go in and import uh, your footage. Uh, the big thing with 3D is that you want to make sure that you're always keeping track of your left and your right eye assets. Uh, there's nothing much uh, less in 3D than one, one eye and not knowing where the other one is. So what you want to do is once they're imported, here I have the left eye and the right eye, I'm going to go over here and click on, uh, double click on the left eye, load it up over here in the uh, viewer, and I'm going to find my endpoint. Uh, there's my sync mark. Okay, so I'm going to find my sync mark here, right when the sticks of the uh, close, and I'm going to set that as an endpoint. Okay, that's my left eye in. Now I'm going to go over to effects, and we're going to have to add some video uh, filters to this to make it work. So the video filters over here in the effects bin, filters, go down and find image control and you want to put desaturate on that clip. Drop that right on there. Look, it turns it black and white. And we're going to run over here, uh, whoops, back up here, uh, to the QuickTime bin. Double click that, and we want to find the RGB balance. We're going to bring that over and drop in the clip. Uh, we're done with that for the time being. Let's close those up. Go up here to the Filters tab on your viewer, left eye, and now we see desaturate here, RGB balance here. We want to set the desaturate to about 50. That's going to take our levels down a bit. And uh, since this is the red eye, or the left eye, which is the red eye, uh, we're going to take everything away except for the red on it. Okay, take that side, or the blue and the green down to zero here. You can also enter zero if you want to. Leave the red at 100. And now if we look at the video of it, Surprise! It's a red clip. So what we can do now is I always put the uh, the left eye on the um, V1 track down here on the timeline. Just drop it right down in there. Now you get the red bar. You're going to have to uh, do some rendering, unfortunately. Okay, what we're going to go do now is go do the same thing to the right eye. Load it up in the clip in the viewer and go over to effects and now what I've done actually is over in my favorites I've created a 3D filters folder and I've got my desaturate, my red blue balance, red green blue balance all uh, there. I'm going to select them both actually, drag them over both at the same time, drop them in there, bing, bang, boom, you got them all already done. So I can go in here set this to 50, desaturate on 50. Now we want to lose the red on this one so take that red all the way down to zero. Look up here and you've got a blue or a cyan clip. So we'll take that cyan clip down here. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't set my end mark. So I'm going to go find that end mark. Important, you got to get those eyes in sync. If they're not in sync, boy, it's going to look funny and give you a headache. So right there is my end mark. Set it in. Drag it down. Perch it on top of uh, V2. On top of the other clip. And now snapping turned on. Now it's going to snap to my end marks in sync. And close these up, buy a little more real estate. Okay, I'm going to click on the right eye, the top, the V2. Go up here to modify. I'm going to select composite mode and go to add. And there we go. Up here in the canvas window, we can see that we've got an anaglyph looking image. So we want to uh, enlarge this uh, anaglyph that we've just created. And so we can have a look at it a little easier rather than just this small uh, canvas window so we can go up to 100%, select 100%, there we go. Now you may have to do some realignment on it. Uh, so you go up here and you select uh, image and wireframe and this tells me that I'm about to move uh, V2, the uh, right eye, and now I can just slide that right eye around and put it where we need to to align our convergence or any possible uh, vertical uh, disparity we have. So we can uh, align it back there on that backlight pole, take a look at it, and sure enough we're all set to go and look at it. 